Hi, Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker here, and today I'm going to show you how to create this tall pentagonal box using the gift bag punch board. So first, you're going to need the gift bag punch board, and let's go ahead and pull out the scoring tool. And I'm using a piece of eight and a half by 11 sweet sugar plum. And we're going to line it up at the start line and go ahead and score and then use the side score line and come down just as far as we can. It's okay to use a finger to, so that you see where the end of the board is because your paper's longer than the board. And then you're going to punch and move this along till your pointer comes to the score line and then we're going to repeat this all the way across the board. And then we're just going to line these up on the score line and finish pulling our scores. that for this piece. And then for the lid, we're going to use a two and a half by 11 piece and we'll punch and score, of course. And then we're going to slide this just past the pointer here and do our vertical score line. And then come across and punch and then move just past the pointer here with the score line and a vertical punch, vertical score rather. And you're going to repeat that across the whole piece. By moving, the paper each time just a little bit past where you've punched. You've made these sections larger so that the lid will fit on the box. Now let's move these aside and we'll begin assembling. So next I'm going to take my scissors and remove this tab and angle this right here at the score line. Do the same thing on the lid. And then we're going to add some tear and tape. So this one gets tear and tape here on this piece. And this one gets tear and tape on this piece. Now, before we can go any further, I'm going to stop the camera and do my stamping, and then we will put this box together. So while I was away, I punched, I punched, I stamped snowflakes all over my box and the lid piece using the Flurry of Wishes stamp set, and I've embossed them in silver. So now it's time to put the box together and we're simply going to fold all of the score lines in the bottom tabs and then pull off the tear and tape that we put on before and then carefully line up the edges here. Oops. Of course, since I'm on camera, I'm fumbling. Just want to make sure my top and bottom are, okay, my bottom's good. Let me loosen this. And as long as we don't press completely, there we go. Okay, and we're good. Okay, and then we'll 
This forms a, a pentagon shape on the bottom. And I just want to stick in some pieces of tear and tape. So I'm going to put one piece here and tear. And let's remove the backing. Okay. And again, holding our shape. Okay, so that's that's down. And we'll give that a press in here, just gently. Ugh, cannot believe how much fumbling I'm doing because it's on camera. Okay. And then we're going to put two pieces on this one. And remove the backing. And again, pay attention to that it's holding its shape and just gently put that in place. Now this last tab is going to get three pieces. So we're going to go across the top and then down either side. And again, watching that you're holding shape. And then turn this over and push everything down inside. Okay. Now, to shape the lid, we're going to do the same thing. Fold all of the pieces, pull off the tear and tape backing, and line up our edge here and then fold each of these tabs in and then my secret is to place it over the bottom of the box and begin adding the tear and tape so again I've got the one that's going to hold have just one piece of tape And this assures a good fit. And then this one's going to get two. Let's turn it. And then this one is going to get three pieces. that on and remove this so now to I don't like the look of this with the hole in the center so this is my solution I take a piece of coordinating cardstock and trace the bottom of the box and the reason I trace the box is because it is just a bit smaller than the lid and of course the the top of the lid is just a bit smaller than the bottom of the lid so i'm going to turn this off while i cut this out and i'll be back in just a moment okay so while i was away i trimmed out this piece and stamped a snowflake uh, and embossed in silver and uh, and then i've attached it using tear and tape now, if this is not a perfect fit, and it's, and it won't be, then you can simply come back by turning this upside down and trimming along the edges like so. This one actually fit very well. So, here is my pentagonal, tall pentagonal gift box using the uh, gift bag punch board. And here's the one we started with in Blushing Bride. Thanks for stopping by today, and I hope you will enjoy making these boxes. This was Sarah Levin, The Artful Inker, at theartfulinker.com. You can find links to today's products in the description below, and you can see more 
inspiration on my blog, theartfullinker.com. Thanks for stopping by.